Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I am here to bring you a tech rant. It's been a while since I've done a tech rant, but no company has really upset me as much as this recent one. And that is the Microsoft Surface Duo. This is a bad product and it's just priced wrong. They put the wrong things inside of it and it just shows Microsoft still doesn't know what they're doing after all these years when it comes to mobile. It is just unbelievable to think that one, don't need a rear camera, don't need it. Why we'll put a selfie camera inside of there and that should work just as good. So you can flip it back and that will be the only way you can actually take a photo of something for a thousand four hundred dollar product. That is what they think is okay. And their excuse for this is, well, we wanna make it nice and thin and all this sleek design and everything like that. Also have a very small battery for two displays that is smaller by about 800 milliamps from the original Galaxy Fold, last year's Galaxy Fold, that had, you know, the same processor that's gonna be in this device. Actually, that's another funny thing. If you actually compare the current price you can get the original Galaxy Fold to, a device that pretty much lines up with this product, you can actually get rear cameras. You can actually get a display that is all one unibody. You can actually also get it for about $800 as opposed to a thousand four hundred and guess what it has the same processor it has more RAM it has more storage but yeah get this Microsoft product instead right so the, it's just it's so annoying the fact that Microsoft still doesn't get it it still does because they failed miserably with Windows phones they've gone with just wild out there things like the surface book they've gone with things that were horrible and should never happen again like windows rt like last year's surface pro x all of these different things that just were half baked they couldn't figure it out but they were like let's see what happens we'll throw money at it and again that is what has failed them time and time again the fact that they don't go all in on a product that these are just experiments to them it still shows they don't get how they can build something so much better than what they currently have now. And again, that is why Apple and Google have taken hold in these past years. Now, don't get me wrong, PC still far outsell everything when it comes to that, but that is something they invented in the 80s and 90s that they established. They haven't done something to really kind of come up and be something really big. And it just, it really is just so annoying that they would charge this price. It's why, because it's thin, because it's sleek, because it's sexy. Yes, it, it really is. You know what else was? The Microsoft Surface Studio. That should be the top selling thing for creators. It should be the top selling thing when it comes to that beautiful design. It far, it looks so much better than the stupid iMac, like way better, but Here's the problem with it. It is so outdated. It has outdated software, outdated hardware. It is just so far behind the current standard for an all-in-one that really you can get one for like $500 that's going to have the similar specs that that does. It is so outdated. It just it really is annoying that Microsoft doesn't do this right. They can't put this year's processor in it. They can't put a bigger battery because other devices are putting bigger batteries in far smaller products. They can't just figure this out a little bit more. They can't put more RAM. They can't do more things to improve upon this device. No, they're like, ah, eh, this looks good. So we're just gonna put it out there and hope people will buy it. You're not Apple. You can't do that. You don't have that kind of backing. You don't kind of have that track record of doing great jobs like that. The last great new product you really did was the original Surface. And that is a great product. I really do love the Surface. Surface headphones aren't that bad either. Surface earbuds, eh. But it really has shown that again, they kind of just, okay, we'll see how this works and then we'll fix things on the next one. And I guarantee you they're probably going to come out with a Surface Solo maybe next year as another product to kind of just, well, people 
like the design of that one. Let's make another one for $700 or $800. We'll put a camera on this one. Maybe we'll get back into the mobile industry. Uh, maybe not. And that'll be the following year. So again, I do think there will be a Duo 2. I do think there will be a Solo. And both those will come out next year. And as that comes about, it'll fail. And then Microsoft's like, all right, well, I guess it's not working out for us. So whatever. This is a problem for Microsoft, and it really sucks because they are such a big company, but they have proven time and time again that they don't know how to deal with ARM processors. They don't know how to deal with actually new form factors that are different and that make you want to buy it instead of just being different. That's the problem. They think, oh, well, our t Windows RT didn't work out. Let's make a Surface Go, this underpowered garbage, uh, you know, put a seller on, put a Pentium in it. Uh, people don't know the difference that, that that processor means that you're going to throw it away in six months, that it's going, you're going to outgrow it in six months. Yeah, let's just do that and charge people the same price as either a high-end or mid-range Chromebook or a actual really good spec computer. Let's just do that because why not? Let's just trick people into doing that. It really is annoying and it's just, it's so frustrating. That was my tech rant. I just had to get out there. No one should really buy the Surface Duo. If you guys actually want me to review it, hey, Microsoft has a 60 day return policy. I don't mind, but I just don't see the point of it. Maybe I'll do another tech rant part two after reviewing it just to kind of show you guys that like good software, cool things like that. But would you use this as an actual phone replacement? No. Would you use this as an actual computer replacement? No. It's just different to be different. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.